So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, which just means as I read, I'm paying very close attention to any, <clears throat> any quantitative information and just generally making sure I understand things as I read versus waiting until after I finish reading to go back and try to understand the information. So the first sentence here says there are 55 students in the Spanish club. So I'm going to just circle that 55. The next sentence says a sample of the Spanish club students was selected at random and asked whether they intend to enroll in a new study program. All right, so we're asking students in the Spanish club whether or not they intend to enroll in a new study program. Of those surveyed, 20% responded that they intend to enroll in the study program. So 20% said yes, basically. Based on this survey, which of the following is the best estimate of the total number of Spanish club students who intend to enroll in the study program. Okay, the total number. So we have a couple things going on. There are 55 students. We took a random sample. We're not sure exactly how many students were in that random sample, but it's definitely less than 55. Out of that random sample, I'm gonna call it X. Out of that random sample, 20% said yes. But the question isn't asking for us to determine how many people said yes from the random sample, it actually takes us right back around to the entire class by saying the best estimate of the total number of Spanish club students. So what we're saying here is because the sample was randomized, we can trust that the 20% who said yes from the random sample is reflective of the entire group. So we'd expect 20% of, right, so 20% of the 55 students to say yes. So that's the math that we have to do here. To put this into a calculator, I'd simply take 20% and write it as a decimal, 0 0.20. Um, of is multiplication, so 55. 0.2 times 55 is equal to 11 in my calculator. So the correct answer here is choice A.